Well, with everybody pissing and whining about having multiple launchers on their system and using that as reason to boycott developers, I decided to try to find a solution. Let's talk about this. The gameplay featured here is brought to you by PureVPN. Keep your information online safe and secure with military-grade encryption and blazing speeds. PureVPN's already been rated one of the best VPN services of 2019. Use the link in the description. You can get your service for as low as $2.88 a month. That is 74% off what it regularly costs. But now, on to the video. Hey everybody, what is going on? Brandon here with a short video today. Um, I actually wasn't planning on doing one, but I decided to go ahead and do this because I got this all set up and thought this may be actually a good solution for at least some of you who are mad about having all the different launchers on your desktop. Um, I actually am, have started using it as of now and I'm actually pretty impressed with it. Uh, I like everything that it's got. And uh, what it, this is is the Play Night Launcher. What it basically does is you take um, all your different launcher accounts, your Steam, your Epic, your Bethesda.net, um, GOG, uh, Battle.net, you take all these accounts and you let this launcher access all those other programs and launchers and with your account information that way it can keep your games up to date and keep your playtime tracked and also be able to launch the games through this launcher rather than having to boot up a separate launcher like Epic or Steam or uh, battle.net so it takes all your accounts and puts them all together and ha puts all your games and scans all your libraries and puts them all together in one spot uh, you can even have it scanned manually or you can have it scanned for things like emulators and ROMs to where it will actually run the corresponding emu or ROM with the corresponding emulator from this launcher uh, which is actually pretty cool because you know you can do that through Steam but it's kind of a pain in the ass to get set up so this was pretty easy uh, to get done and it downloads all the metadata for all your games automatically. But with like most things like XBMC and Kodi that download metadata, metadata off the internet uh, for all your, your movies or games, sometimes it gets them wrong. So you, there is the chance you're going to have to go through and fix a couple things. It's really not hard. Uh, you just go through and click edit and download the metadata. Uh, metadata uh, I can't talk today. Uh, and it downloads it off uh, either the uh, wiki or the game database and you can actually choose the correct title because sometimes all that happens is it selects the wrong title automatically. Uh, it's pretty easy to fix. Um, I just got done importing all of my library and getting everything in here. It took me about a half hour to get all my games in here, uh, including all my VR titles and my games that I've got through launchers or through services that don't have a launcher. Um, I had to import those. Uh, I didn't have to import them manually. It scanned them and found them. Uh, but I had to do the, the metadata on all of them manually. But this is actually a pretty uh, elegant solution. If you don't want to have a bunch of different launchers and you don't want your collection being separated and you don't want to use Windows desktop icons for whatever reason, uh, this is actually a pretty good solution. And it's also got a big picture mode uh, for full screen, which works really well with the controller. So if you're like me and you have a lot of games you play with a controller, uh, this is actually really nice to have everything confined into one spot and having it automatically download uh, like thumbnail art and um, all the information about the games automatically for most games was a nice plus. But yeah, so there you have it. If you're one of those people that just want to have all your stuff in one spot, but you are like me and understand that's never going to happen. We've, we've got all these different launchers. They're not going anywhere anytime soon. Uh, this is actually a really good solution for that. So I'll have the link in the description so you can actually uh, go to the website and download this if you want and check it out. Uh, I scanned it there. I didn't find any viruses or anything in it. Um, from everybody that I've seen that's been using it, seems to be enjoying it. And uh, it's, it's got a lot of features. I'm thinking there will be more in the coming future. It looks to be something they, they're continuing to update and uh, work on. So, uh, yeah, so if you just want all your stuff in one spot and you want it all nice and neat with pictures and descriptions and stuff, uh, definitely give this a shot. It, I think it's actually pretty awesome. It's a pretty easy solution to have all your games in one spot without separating your library. So, And not a lot of manual work there to do either. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry it wasn't what I normally do, but I figured I'd give you guys some kind of a solution to uh, a, a problem that the PC community faces anyway. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video and you want to see more, please do me a favor. Mash that red subscribe button. If you want to know anytime Nathan or I upload videos, please do us a favor and ring that bell icon. That way YouTube will send you notifications out. And thank you guys. I will see you all next time.